Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Papa Bale, and welcome to the channel. As you can see, well, this is the pulse motor. We've got 10 magnets on the 12 magnet rotor now, and that is clipping along at great speed for 15 volts, 0.8 amps. Uh, I think I, we owe it all to the coil. It's a four filer coil, three, uh, four strands of. 32 gauge wire. That's awesome. That is so good. We're gonna have to get some tin foil on there and get a good tack reading. Till then, let's just shoot it right here. Two. 238. That's RPMs. pretty good. That's a bigger diameter by a lot with the other ones. Yeah, I think it's, it's moving right along. 12 magnets. It's going to produce more electricity. Feels like it's going faster. I can feel it. Like ambient electricity. It says it's going slower now. Interesting. So maybe there is something going on there. You can definitely feel the shake. Like the repulsion. Oh, definitely vibrating. Yeah, I think the frequency is very high. A lot higher than the nine magnet rotor. I do think the bearings are about half a millimeter off now, which sucks. Uh, they're they still pass, but I can see it kind of wobble a little bit. Maybe it's just the gray, the PLA sticking up, but uh, it looks a little wobbly. But it's okay. I mean, it spins great. Um, there's not really much I can do about that. They kept popping out, so I had to glue them in there. It's hard to tell which which one it is. Whether it's the underneath one or that one. Right. Or if it's the, the lip of PLA around the bearing. Because I know that when I... Uh, put the glue in there, there was a, a piece of the PLA sticking up. Okay. And I mean, it slid on the pole pretty good. It didn't grind very much. It squeaked a little bit, so I know it's a little bit off. I repositioned. Yeah, we're gonna have to do the the magnet on the, on the rotor, because uh -huh. the one on the table is right now. I made it right. Yeah, that's out of back. Wow, that looks really off underneath there. But that's okay. It's doing its job right now. It's just keeping it so it doesn't grind on the... On the we need to get it straight, and we'll do that. Uh, I'm probably going to end up doing it... Like, I'll use that disc right there until we can figure out a better... print a better way to do it. Which one? Uh, right there. Yep. One of those discs with the magnets on it. One of these, huh? Yep. To center it. And then I'm gonna plop it on there with the magnet on there already. Put the glue on the magnet and then put this like right on top of it like that. Just on that pole. So that pole is the judge. And that'll work. I'm pretty sure that'll work straighten it right up. Um that's pretty much it. I mean, so far it's been more exciting per magnet. Six was pretty good. One was awesome. When we had one magnet on there and it would go all the way around and go all the way around and go all the way. Yeah, we did it. All right. So, I mean, the only thing is the way the uh, Hall effect sensor is right now. Um, you 
you have to nudge it a little bit or it'll just keep bouncing back and forth like this. So you gotta nudge it a little bit to get it to this point and then it kicks. It's like there's a huge kick there. If we can get it just real slow. I'm gonna try it real to get it real slow right here. Okay, now watch this. See that? That is a huge kick. That'll send it all the way around. But I think the 20 gauge wire that I'm gonna make this coil out of next is gonna have an even bigger kick. If it doesn't blow everything up like instantaneously. The 32 gauge seriously has never let me down yet. Like for this and for generating electricity, 32 gauge has never let me down. That's pretty much it. Thank you very much. Peace out. Have a great night. Bye now.